What's up everybody? Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. We're here with Geralt and Roach. We need to head to this Basane farm, which is right here. It was right close to this scary Bruxa lady place. It's really interesting because even loading back into the game, Geralt goes, uh, something seriously wrong here. I don't know if there's something else here, or maybe there might be another quest that could possibly lead back here. But I looked around and there is just nothing. I did some exploring to here and here and seen nothing. Actually, I didn't go here. Now that I think about this, this could possibly be something. So, when we actually do this, let's mark this too. Why not? These little nooks on the map always seem to be something. We're gonna head into Basane Farm and check out the first quest for the Knight of Hire. Let's get right to it. I wanted to do this area at the beginning of the episode here. I really did since we were like right here. But I'm thinking that it could possibly be something with Knight for Hire. We don't know yet. I don't know exactly what the hell these quests are. There's something. Are they just contracts? We go into an area and pick up a contract because that seems to be what it is. Can we actually read this since it's the first one? Complete the contracts you took on from the camera lingo. Geralt came across an altogether typical looking notice. Someone was looking for the help of knights or other strong men. He included he met the above stated requirements and set off for Knights Dormant Square to meet with the Ducal Camerlengo. Well, that was... It doesn't really say... Well, it just says we're going to be on contracts, but... I'm thinking we go around a knight still. I'm loving the knight stuff. It is really, uh... I don't know, it's just interesting. Wait, there's a werewolf here <laughs> just chilling. Hey, are you friendly? I guess not. How are you? What are you eating on? Oh, you're eating that lady. How's that trap going for you? Oh. We're at six. But we're really strong. Our trap's gonna kill him, watch. Oh, regen that health. Come on. Or get your friends out. Too strong. We really need to go back to... I want to make a note to go back to... I'm going to put a post-it. Boop! Right on my fucking monitor and say, Go back to Corvo at the end of each episode so we can get our buffs. There's just things around Corvo we need to check too. We haven't been to the gardens. Is there something with wine at Corvo? Well, either way, we haven't been to Corvo in quite a while. Finally be able to drink in peace. There you and go. I'll I wanted to stay at nighttime. Adventure. Greetings, friend. Anyways, I was thinking about going back to Corvo when we get close to being over encumbered. Go back there, we'll sell everything, then come back in at Corvo. Squire Steel Sword. Just a random. Oh, that was it then. Go see Doko. I'm not collecting my pay yet. Eviction notice. To Hubert and Giselle Derrett. In connection to my recent acquisition of the Bassane Farm, I, the undersigned Countess Tiffane Badet de Sacker. Oh my, what? Her? Do hereby inform Sirs Hubert and Giselle Derrett who currently inhabit said piece of real estate that they are obliged to vacate the premises within no more than seven days of receiving this notice. In the case of failure to comply with this warning, the matter will be referred to the appropriate enforcement bodies. Example, a werewolf will be sent to your premises to make you vacate, obviously. This is a legally binding notice and has been prepared in accordance with the act on the Bassane Farm issued by the Beauclair Magistrate. Sincerely, Countess Tiffane Baudet de Sacor. Sure. Definitely. 
the right name. Yes. My hand shakes so bad. I cannot hold my tools. You, sir, are doing an amazing job with your tools there. You look th like you're doing really good. It's actually shaking so much that you're cutting it perfectly. Look at this girl fishing over here. That's so cool. Oh, there's a barber over here. Get out of town. Hey, you're in the air. You're going to fall. Let's keep looking around. Well, we found one night for hire. I like this. I'm loving this. You want to know why? Because it's so much stuff to do. Right now, oh. Don't you die. It's just so much stuff to do. I just jumped right on your head and I'm very sorry. It made you go crazy. I didn't mean to. Oh my word. What did he say? Every single NPC has the best. Uh. Excuse me. What? Butch off! I'm working here. What are you working on? Huh? What? Butch oh. off! I'm working here. <laughs> it's a... Huh? <laughs> a worker says he's working, huh? All right. Well, let's just keep on stealing everyone's shit. Actually, I don't really think this is. You gonna hide in that barrel? I don't honey, think it's honey. stealing. Oh. We basically crap. claim this place, so Which it's not really not stealing. It's kind of like compensation, I guess, huh? <laughs> These fucking people, man. <laughs> Look at this barber over here. Hey there, Witcher. Come, we must speak. Okay, let's speak then. Let me check around first, though. There's always things. One more. Let me go over here first, okay? And I'll be back to get my haircut. I do what they pay. All oh, these motherfuckers are throwing down. I wonder if I can get a loan from Chianfinelli. And if I were to put up my wife's surety. That's kind of rough, don't you think? Work parches me horribly. Wow. You know what I love? It's such a small little detail. But let me tell you something. You know what I do love? You see this big old fucking horde of stuff here back in the base game or even in the other dlc because the other dlc was kind of in the base game too in a way but what i'm saying is it usually would be one this. thing in this crate one I'll thing in this crate health, you got something in the crate up there so you have to individually get all this it looks like it's just it looks like it's just all right i got it we got it what i'm saying is it's just one you loot it and it's the whole thing, even though all of it's lit up. Does that make sense? I know it's something very so stupid, but it's really uh, easy. Like, look, it looks like there's so much. Normally there would be like six, you know, E's, and then it would say loot on like three things at least. But you just go, cool, what the hell? We can climb that? Whew, got it. You see what I mean? Maybe it's just me being stupid. Anyways, can we go inside here? Come on, you done diddler. No, what they call us? When the draft horse will talk without some carrot to move it. Don't mess with Roach. I'll be there for you. Ooh, ooh. When the world falls down. Remember she said that? Oh my word. <laughs> I can never not forget well, that. Not for you, Witcher. That werewolf. <gasps> my, he did devoured us all. The werewolf. Did you kill it? Mm -hmm. It murdered folk, devoured sheep, ravaged the farm. Oh, what a relief that's done with. I thank you. If you wish, I shall give you a trim. I just need a moment. My hands are still shaking. Take it easy. Don't hurt yourself. I like... How'd you ever wind up here? Coif? How do you say that? I like a new coif. That's obviously a way to say haircut. What's a barber do on a farm like this? He shears sheep. Because sheep are calm. Unlikely to scream at him if a lock is out of place or a color a touch off the desired shade. And here, no one threatens to shorten you by a head if you trim a bit too much. Somebody threatened to do that to you? To me? No, but... Well, one hears things. I found it impossible to work under incessant pressure. 
When I saw the notice, urgent specialist sheep shearer sought. Well, I didn't give it a second thought. And it was pleasant at first, but then that werewolf appeared. If you can shear a sheep, you can shear a wolf. So give me a haircut, huh? Oh, I kind of loosely gathered tied. So it's all the same. That's fine. Did we get a haircut? I kind of really like this haircut. It's been with Geralt for so long. Change my mind. Let's get a shave. Need a clean shave. Okay. Because I want to reset it. And then get the short shave again. Geralt, you look... Pretty interesting. Sir, can you put the hair that you just cut off right back on my face, please? Keep it fluffy. Is it fluffy? There it is. You look good, Geralt. Take care now. Take it easy. For you, Witcher, that werewolf. <gasps> My, he'd have devoured us all. So, the night for hire here, there isn't anything to read, though? On these quests? Makes sense. There's... Is this night for hire as well? You know what? Honestly, we're here. Let's just take out this side. Before we head back over here. I know, like, the ultimate goal is to... Well, it really was to get back up here. And... Just... Let me put something else here, because I will... We will explore this. We truly will. We can do it now. But then if we go over here, we should just go over here. I want to go back over here. I want to go to these areas. Now that Basane farm is done, we also have this. Let's fucking mark this. Actually, we'll unmark this because it's so much stuff. We need to go over here. But I think first, before we do this, ah, oh, so much things I want to do. I want to. I would just want to do it all. Let's head over here. We'll head over to that place because I just did. We already check this here. But what I'm saying is, I feel like... Come here to save him! Watch your stones! Watch your stones! One, two, three! Ready or not, here I come! You hiding? You ain't hiding from me, I can see you. Alright, so we got up there. I think we got up on... We didn't get up on that other roof over there. Ooh. Let's try that one. Can we... Oh, we can get over from this way. Don't die. Loot, baby! Oh, there's stuff on the docks, too. Is that roach in there? Roach is in there ruffling. I love it. Carol, you're having a rough time here. Come on, you doo-doo diddler. We have a lot to explore, though. I, should we go up there? Or... Like I was saying, should we go down here? I was thinking about making this the last spot. But you see there's a notice board here. Is there a notice board over here? No, it really isn't. And honestly, if you want to be... If you want my opinion, I think these notice boards are just going to unlock question marks. I don't think we're going to get anything else because we have quite a lot of quests. If we get more quests, it's just going to fill the map up completely. I mean, look at the fucking map. There's so much quests on the map, it's absurd. We'll just explore. Let's just go where the wind blows us. The closest thing to us will do. I think that's the best bet. The stuff that we're by now is closer than going over and seeing them stones, but I really want to see them stones. Maybe at the end of the episode... Geralt, if you don't get up, maybe we should just jump. Let's just jump. Oh my word. Sir, watch yourself. It's getting scary. <sighs> Oh, don't fall! Oh, there's nothing up here. We're going to the top. Oh, did you tie one on last night too? Tie one on? What are you on about? Can we get? Oh, we can. Geralt, I kind of want to jump off into the water, but I think it's too shallow. We might break our fucking legs. Wow! Look at the view. Look at it. Look at Vuclair in the distance. Wow, it looks so awesome. 
What is that over there? Is that that one place? It is this place. Probably. Let's head over to this place and knock out these little thingy majiggies in the area. The cockatrice in. We probably already knocked these ones out. Yeah, let's head over there. Let's explore more. Shit, how are we gonna get down, huh? Drink! Give me a cake. I'm gonna jump, okay? Hey! Welcome! Oh. <clears throat> I'll finally be able to drink there we go. peace. And I'll drink to you. Can we... I know I've seen some shit over here. I want to be so thorough because you never know when that black dye is just going to creep up on you. Look at that dragon scale. We just got dragon scales. In a random ass fucking sack. Wow. Alright, so it looks like we're going this direction. Roach? Come on in. She'll be there for you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck did they do? They bored it into my brain and it's never gonna go away. I feel like I'm just... Now I can never unhear Roach talking. Ever. I almost wish that Roach would talk like that quest was earlier in the game. It was such a great quest. It's so crazy because we've been talking to Roach this whole fucking time. I just really enjoyed the little bit of times of Roach. I know Roach didn't talk back in, well, ever until now. But I'm saying it was so damn enjoyable just talking to her. Even though she's probably not even listening to a damn word we're saying. Hey, let me in. Hey. Famed white wolf, I bow before you. Thank you. Is there any way I can get in here? You're not to go anywhere. Walt. No passage. Sir Roderick does not wish to see any guests. Sir Roderick? Who the fuck is that? You're not to go anywhere. Friends, I don't think we can get in this place unless we... Maybe there's another entrance? The more you beat them, the better they are! Hella Sir Roderick. Did we already... I'm catching something. You catching something? Probably the itis, so watch it. I simply have the time. Booger me. Interesting. What is this place called? Did a signpost come up on this place? No. It sure didn't, but we're already out here. Let's go over to this little. You know, a lot of uh, exploring the unknown here, this one. Unless we stumble upon hey, something. <laughs> Quest wise. But. Hey, can I get in there? You mind if I just go yes, in? Friend. Dun Tyne Castle. You're not to go anywhere. Let me in this mother effer. I'll climb it then. Shit. Can we climb it? Oh, <laughs> Geralt's not gonna be able to climb it. All right. I'm getting the feel of. We might be able to get over from this way. Dun Tyne Castle. Let's read it. But what I'm saying is I'm getting a few of Old Geard's family estate here for some reason. I don't know why. The castle is tied to the dark legend of Walthrius the Burly. The dashing knight who wed the beautiful Nazari princess Hiltgut. Oh, really? Remember that story? Hiltgut and Walrius? Walthrius then embarked on a lengthy campaign and returned to find his wife in carnal relations with his relative, upon which he flew into a rage and murdered them both. The moral of the tale is held to be that nothing good ever comes from the Zare, and that when one has a young wife, you should stay at home instead of gallivanting about on campaigns. Wow. Maybe she really just didn't like you. That could be an option too. Friends, I was thinking that this way, if you look at it, is an entrance in there, but no. This white here is a bridge. Oh, there's a boat. Get the fuck out of here. Where does the 
boat take us, though, if we get into it? You think it will fast travel somewhere? Are you? This was the area where the scribe was in. But that's not the scribe. Hold on. Supervisor? What are you supervising? Forgive me, I'm occupied. Damn, no notes. Good day! My well, nice well, day, eh? Can fly. Can sick. This is something else. I get it's probably something for a main mission. Has to be. Maybe, possibly, or another mission. Maybe a contract. Let's head. Damn, let's get back on the main road. These boats, though. Is there any other boats? Yeah, there's a boat here. Oh, it'll probably take us to the harbor and stuff. Yeah, just any boat. All right, no biggie. Let's get back on the main road. Head to... There's a knife for hire here, a knife for hire here. Oh, man. I'm thinking the idea here is... Well, this is something I would like to do. We'll do that later. Any, do that anytime. Let's head to this general area over here, and then start the next night for higher quest. They just take to work as they take to dance and drink. What does it take to work and dance and drink? Anyways, we'll start the next night for higher quest, ah. and then kind of take it from there. Look at the rock formations, friends. Where are you walking? I don't know. I'm just walking. Spineyard infestation. Oh shit, we found some. Oh shit. Kikamores. I was thinking ghouls. Kikamores are insectoids, yeah. Definitely. Shit, we should have meditated, huh? That's fine. We'll get Ekamara. Cockatrice, because we need some extra potions for now. Catacan. No kind of healing. Get him, Roach. Oh, it's been quite a while. Roach, you are about to whoop that Kikamore's ass. Come on, you want to fight? I know you do. And this, my friends, is probably why we need um, to get the notice boards. Just stumbled upon question marks. It's never been a bad thing. Kiki more breeding ground. Gotta destroy it if they're to disappear for good. Wow, look at this fucking madness. Absolutely crazy looking. All right, well, this vineyard is done. You might want to give us some time before you guys come over here and start your business again. We did this one and that one. I guarantee we probably did this one, but let's just go check. I feel like I know we did that one. We probably did around the time we were just in the beginning of the, the DLC here, probably. But just in case. I really want to be thorough with it, because... Are you good? You need a piggyback ride? My sister saw where this one bagger buried some gold coins! Where? In this well? He's buried gold coins somewhere. Uh, uh. Hey! Nothing. That's fine. At least we explored it to see what it is. And there's nothing over here. More supervisors. Are you cold? It's pretty nice out right now. Roshi! Come on. To be honest, kid, I would love to fish in the channel. But the game doesn't allow it. That one is done. Night for hire, please. Wow, look at this little maze. We won't do that. Yet. No. We're going to do this first. Is this knife for hire as well? 
Shit. Let's hit up the notice board first. Yeah. And then we'll make our way to Nice for Heart. Roach, you, how did you get through that? I did not think you would make it. They're so heroic, we had to summon a witcher to do their work. They're so heroic, you had to summon a witcher? Yeah, I mean... Of course, I can tell them. They can't always kill all the monsters. They aren't professionals. We are making it. We're making some kind of progress here. We got the one down here. Let's not. Make it here. And then knock this stuff out. What is this place? Well, we don't know yet. There's a bunch of enemies on the map. Let's just... Oh, it's wolves? Yeah, let's definitely go past. Whoa, that's not wolves. Keep going, Roach. Don't even look at them. Kikamores? They're everywhere. Wow. Remember how numerous they were in the swamps in uh, Witcher 1? Between that and the Drowners? Oh my fucking word. Well, we're here. Almost-ish. Hold on. Is this a village? Well, it's obviously a village, but I wonder if it's like... Has there ever been a notice board in an unfriendly village? I don't think there has been. At least I don't know. Geralt here. It's a quarry. Whoa. Every single one has a novel. That is really cool. Ardiaso Quarry. Every man, be he tippler or teetaller, knows the sun's economy stands from the fruit of the vine. Few, however, realize the Duchy's lands are rich with deposits of slate and other valuable building materials. And the quarry that the quarrian of such was once the bedrock of local livelihoods. Thus, when God's fearing Tusantios saw fit to build a statue of the saintly Lebiota, they had no need to send for materials from abroad. Instead, they merely reactivated Ardiasso. Roach, what are we about to get into? What the hell happened here? Drink. Give me a drink. There's ghouls. He's just running around in circles. Hey man, you're gonna have to probably get the fuck that out of here. Rent will be the end of me. <laughs> I've lost a game. You need to work on your deck. You sure do. Wow. There's that ghouls. Rent will be the end of me. You guys I've want lost a game. You lost again, so does your twin. That grint will be the end of Don't stop playing. Get good. I've lost it. Look at the ghouls down there. Let's go down and say hi, shall we? Well, there's a notice board here in an unfriendly place, kinda. Look at this. Roach already went down there to whoop their ass. Hey ghoul. Don't mind me. Oh, we can definitely level up here. Hold on. Don't get the shield up. Maybe not. Damn, eight. Come on, give me more. Nine. Oh, Geralt, you had to kill him with your beastliness. Come on, anything else in here? Oh, maybe there is. Something is seriously wrong here. Need to ask around. Locals might know something more. Bovine Blues? Did we pick up a contract before going to the notice board here? Damn. Probably. Let's check out the notice board, though. Damn. We might have just missed the write-up on that quest. 
Because it could very well be on that damn notice board. Shit. Word for future advice, I guess. Get the notice board before clicking on red things. Let's check the notice board, though. Well, there it, it's actually right here. Cool. Easy peasy. Nightly expedition to Castle Dacia. All as I know, ever since the villainous Philbert Fourfingers and his Hans murdered the family managing Castle Dacia estate, villainous has been afoot there. There are even worshippers. The dreaded exterminator has made it his home. So this Philbert is the guy from the picture that we keep saying. Remember? The little guy from the picture? He has a huge nose, that guy. The one that was just literally over there on the picture. And this is where? Castle Diaka Estate? We need to find that place. The time has come to investigate those claims. I'm gathering brave souls willing to join my expedition. Henku the Bearded Knight Errant. Announcement. We buy unusual looking stones. Learn more from the owner. Natural Philosophy, Department of the Imperial Academy. Birthday party invitation. All those who would like to drink with me are invited to join me at the Cockatrice on the 18th day of this month. That day will embark 40 years since I first stepped foot into the world. Mind that... Neither food nor drink are on me. I will accept gifts, though. Victor, you know which one. Wow. You can come to my birthday. I don't know you, but please bring gifts. Astute practitioner of the oldest profession. I might not be the fairest of them all, but I can give you a plowing so good you'll never want to go back to those tarts at the Bells of Buclair. Griselda? Wow, she is serious. Holy. News about Four Fingers Hans. The wretch Filbert Four Fingers and his Hans have taken over the ruins of the old castle on Mont Crane. From there, they embark on raids and oppress the populace. Our notice board, your home. For the latest news about Four Fingers Hans, we have to find this motherfucker. So this is another place. Friends, I'm telling you, this is a, this is a hidden quest. It has to be. We have to find Four Fingers. It's either some kind of hidden quest or we stumble upon him at some point. And it's some little tiny Easter egg and we just don't know it's him, but it's him. Makes sense? Or it's a quest. Contract Mysterious Plummeting Cattle. Urgently needed specialists used to the strange and extraordinary. Must be fast and reliable. Sorcerer, druid, or witcher preferred. Problem involves cattle sick falling out of the sky at night and must be cleared up fast. Work must resume at quarry soon as we're up against tight deadlines. For details, see foreman of Ardiaso Quarry. Give me that. We're doing this. Great meow. Bovine blues. Sure. Let's do it. There's a blacksmith over here. Where the wind blows us and the wind has blown us on this contract. So let's go about doing it. Oh. Wait. Let's get our torch out because there may be... To be honest with you, it's kind of hard to see in here. That blacksmith that's over there is in a great spot. Because we can break down and sell some shit. That was it, huh? Can we get up there now? The cows are falling out of the sky at night. Could it be that great white, possibly? As in, that has to be some kind of griffin. Maybe it's a white griffin. Let's find the contract handler, then. 
the person given the contract here. Talk to him and see what the hell's going on with the flying cows. But there was a blacksmith over here somewhere too. We read about the quarry. Hold on. Oh, he's down here. Whoa. Get the fuck out of here. You need a hand? With this contract? I could give you a hand. I just don't know if I have one available to give you. Where's the contract handler at? Have you seen him? I haven't seen him. Maybe we should give this other guy over here a hand and see if he needs anything. You don't look like a quarryman to me. That stand in the way of our doing business? No. It merely means I doubt you'll find anything of use here. I mainly stock goods for the men at the quarry. Hammers, spikes, hand cream. But if you want a glance, feel free. I shan't stop you. Did he say he gives hand cream? Wait, what? He did say hand cream. <laughs> You're a real welcoming fella. You really are. You always this personable? Or do you just get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? I got up on the right side. I always do. My left leg's been lame ever since my accident. I worked here once, see? Breaking stone. Until a part of a rock face fell away and crushed my foot. Hmm. Sorry. Feel foolish now. Not to worry. Such things are commonplace here. Part of the job. Every now and then someone breaks something, twists an ankle, or their neck. Show me your goods? Sure. Can you give me a hand with my load that I have? Show me what you got. That was kind of bad. Let's sell some... He has a little bit. Let's sell some stuff to him. Take it easy. Gotta go. Farewell. Have a good day, blacksmith. We need to, we need to meditate because we need some potions again. Let's take our stuff here, and it could possibly be something with necrophages. We're good on necrophage oil. Let's do old faithful. Where's it at? Kinda and troll. Let's see about finding the. Quest giver. See if we can give him a hand. I know, I know. Terrible puns. Absolutely of fucking course, terrible. I can tell they Was he under here the whole time? Which am I not? Judge. Still to bust your bum. Calm down. Oh, he's under here. What they call it, blasting devils? Are you doing, man? What plague? An unfortunate turn of offense, that's all. Get back to chiseling! If we don't deliver that hat on time, the infestor will twist my plums off! Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist, some mage or warlock. What happened here? Look! It's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something. An exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he'll want. Saw your notice. Got a problem with... a cow? Fear a plague, is that it? Yes, indeed. And a horrid one at that. We've asked the gods something true we have. In Zeracania, they've sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows down on us. Enough! Enough! No need to so panic! Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. Yes, an unfortunate matter indeed, to be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation. But that lot, no. Right away they started in screaming, PLAGUE! 
demanding higher wages for hardship, poor working conditions, you see? They'll ruin me, the plotters. Mm. My job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky. That it? That too. The thing is, since none bother to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other pit. We fear to venture there. Not surprised. Cow, where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. Its corpse rots in the other pit, sends out its stench, and a meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter and take on the contract? Should we? Sure. What exactly are you doing here? Yeah. What exactly is going on here? Construction of a statue of the Prophet Lepiota. We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. A pious infestus revived the project after years of neglect. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. And we would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master. Will you look into it? The accident? Anyone witness it? Need to know more about this accident. Anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterv had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt. Has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? <laughs> reward? Need to talk about my reward before I decide. Ah, time for a good haggle. So how much would you take? Time for some good haggle. 435, huh? 385. What? You jest! <laughs> we mine stone here, not gold! <laughs> Come on, man, it's only 85 extra. 355? Mm. You must go lower for it to make any sense to me. Wow. We're getting to the point where he might break off soon. 336? Fine. But that is the sum total. No bonuses or gratuities on top. Understood. Sure. A little extra is always helpful. Fine. I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Lapiota reward you with progeny plenty. I shall keep an eye out for your return. But there's two things that I was thinking, and it's so funny that Geralt brought that up because I was thinking about some kind of portal or something, like they are just raining out from portals. Because what made me think of that was the freaking Tower Out of Nowhere quest. Remember, the cow just came through the portal? And that's exactly what I was thinking about, a portal. But I was also thinking about a crane or something. Are they just, are they just dropping it on from a crane? Do they even have cranes? First of all, can we get up in that? Maybe. We should go about trying. Is this actually something else? Like an arm? Yeah, this is the arm. And that is the... That's the middle finger. I thought it was something else. Yeah, that's the middle finger. This is so great. I thought it was something else. Geralt, get up it. From over there, it looked like something else, and you know it did. Let's go to examine the cow's carcass and the workman's body. Let's see about what's going on here. How do we get back up there? Up here? Yeah, but damn, I really want to try to get up there. Hey, guys. You see this shit? Hands everywhere. Oh. Stuff the horde. Maybe we should go now. We are busting our bum to save you, literally. 
We are busting our bum to put in hard work here. Friends, let's go up here. Carol! See if we can actually get into this building. I think we... Rent would be the end of me. Friend, you I really need to get better. Game. Stop complaining. Because Gwent is a fun damn game. But it will be the end of a lot of people. It probably has been the end of Jump a lot of people. Lady. An ungodly amount. Is that Superman? Was he... Da -da 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 -da, or was that like Star Wars or something? What's going on here? One of them. Must be Emil. Workers mentioned him. Poor guy. Unlucky as all hell. Right. Now where do I start? That is pretty... Friends, why is the gut hanging out though? It's almost like a griffin or something just dropped it. Because the cow's guts... Oh, the... never mind. The ghouls were digging at it. Makes sense. Wounds on the worker's body. Blunt trauma wounds on the cow. Can you even see the body from under the cow? Crushed by something heavy. Skull base is cracked. Fresh tooth marks. Necrophages. But they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Blunt trauma wounds on the cow. Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen from quite a height. Got sliced open. Hmm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Heart had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left him clearly. Sure sniffed out their feast fast. Goes to think that they might have already been here in that cave. Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. A wyvern, probably. But these wounds weren't the cause of death. A wyvern? Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. A youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. And then there's the crane. There's blood on the crane, too. Oh, so the plot thickens. Let's read this quest. Bovine Blues. Wow. Use your witcher senses to investigate how the crane was damaged. A witcher's life is never dull. No, it really truly isn't. If there ever comes a point when he's had his fill of cockatrices, strigas, or neckers, he can always count on the world throwing something unusual in his path. As was the case on this occasion when a bovine crashed to the ground from the sky, landing right on top of a quarry worker at last, here was a contract that would surely tear the Witcher free of the fetters of the Quodian that so often held him. As a well-known something something once put it, one touched by bad luck is liable to break his finger while attempting to clear a nostril. The Witcher in passing though, the Ardiaso Quarry happened on a worker who had been crushed by a cow when it fell on him. Intrigued by the circumstance by which this had come to pass, he resolved to ask about the details of the incident. Upon inspecting the cow's carcass and the worker's corpse, Geralt established that no plague had caused the incident, as the quarry workers had vehemently claimed, nor was it the result of a distorted portal, as Geralt himself had suspected. Instead, the Witcher discovered the cause to be relatively banal. A draconid had been carrying the cow back to its nest, yet the beast had either lost its grip or overestimated its strength, and the cow had landed in the quarry and in doing so, had crushed one of the workers. Wow, what if the... Seriously though? 
What if the Wyvern or whatever it could be is doing it on purpose? This poop. Let me just drop this cow right on top of this motherfucker. Can't do that now? What do you mean? So it's up here. These contracts never get dull. They always have so much little intriguing little things with these contracts. They really do. Blood. Draconid must have hit it pretty hard. Dropped the cow, then probably tried to steady its flight. Got hurt in the process. Good. Should be simple to track down. Blood. Look for the droplets of blood, then. Traces of Draconid blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. Barely perceptible, and it's huge. It's bigger than your body, the pool of blood here. There's more. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We are going to put Draconid oil on. Get on there. Just in case it pops on out really close. Nothing. Oh, did we lose the trail? Oh, no, we didn't. Hero, you gotta watch yourself, because I have a feeling it's just a bit still right now and quiet. That something... Started bleeding heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought, looks like. You ain't lying. It impaled itself. Or something. But I have a feeling you're about to get swooped down upon and then dropped. There it is. Anyone home? That's. Hmm. Smells like sour mash. Dragon it must have attacked a local distillery. Bastard. Should we. We're at four. Let's see if we can try to level up. I don't just... I don't think we can. But there's another one coming in. We're at six. Damn. Get over here. Come on. You know you want to fight. Damn it. Stuck on nine again. Son of a bitch. We would have had him if it would have let us kill him, but it wouldn't let us kill him. It had to blow up. Well, there we go. Potatoes! The old lady would be so happy for that. Is there, there's all kinds of blood on top. I know there's a note there. We'll get it. But hold on. Can we actually get up there? Let's read the note first. Bootlegger's notes? So I say to that, Minister Tremblay, the whole Sansator Valley is overrated. Those wines, why don't get me started on SS? Ever since they started mass producing it, they should call it... Eight, eight? Maybe? For it's definitely seen better days than he says. Right you are, always been a... Cot de blesser. Chat myself. In fact, between you and me, I even preferred it to a sangria. You know, the wine reserved for her illustrious highness and her inner circle. And then the fool I am. I blurt out, oh, I agree, whenever her grace has me taste it. I've got to swill my mouth out with vodka afterwards to wash out the rancid taste. Oh, come on, I was drunk, wasn't I? Talking out of my bum, well, it turns out I had rather overvalue my position at court. Tremblay needed but say a word in the Duchess' ear, and in three shakes of a donkey's tail, I was out on the street. The job of the Ducal Taster has been given back to 
Benoit, can you believe it? After the scandal involving Baroness Nikkei and Quelline, as for me, well, what was I supposed to do? I had no choice but to start making and drinking my own brews. That's always been my true passion. Well, there you go. You hated the wines in the royal court. Couldn't stand it. You got tossed out on your ass. And you want to make your own wines. Well, go ahead and make your own wines, sir. There's an arrow down here. Landed on the roof of the distillery. Raised a ruckus, made a mess, then moved on. Raised a ruckus, made a mess, and then moved the hell on. Damn it. Half-eaten body with scorch marks. Hmm. Definitely not a wyvern. Slizzard. Gotta be. They breathe fire. Slizzard? Get out. Friends. It's a fucking slizzard. We're gonna see a slizzard in all its splendor? Hold on, man. Let me see something here. Can we look? Oh, Draconids. I know we had something on slizzards. Slizzard. Oh my freaking word. Look at this thing. Grape shot. Draconid oil. Ard. Quen. Some peasants once offered me a king's ransom to slay a slizzard. I demanded a hefty purse, chock full of gold, but I turned them down. Coin is no good if you're dead. And a slizzard, that's no fucking fork tail. Zader, one of Krenfrent Reavers. So <laughs> one of the Reavers did not want to fight a slizzard. Slizzards are often mistaken for wyverns or fork tails, yet make no mistake, slizzards are nasty, terrible, dangerous beasts, and confusing them for... Wyverns will end very badly for the Confuser. While a Wyvern can tear apart and devour an untrained man in seconds, only a Slizzard can first bake him to a crisp with a waft of fiery breath. So there are literally like Dragon Wyvern combined here. They are serious. They can breathe fire too. Get out. Slizzards are keenly aggressive and attack from both ground and air. Their goal during a fight is to get close enough to their foe to injure it with a breath of fire or knock it down with a sonic blast. Like Wyvern, Slizzards also attack with Venom Spike Tails. So we should use, if it's Venom, we should use Golden Oil. Slizzards like to disengage mid-fight to fly into the air and plummet down at high speed while spewing out fireballs. Oh, this is going to be epic. Right before these igneous missiles emerge, you can observe a fiery ball forming in the monster's maw. While airborne, a slizzard can also attack with its claws and teeth. It is worthwhile to employ the art and igni sign to force the slizzard to the ground. Well, it breathes fire. So why exactly would igni hurt this thing if it breathes fire? They are not, however, vulnerable to burning. They're not vulnerable. Oh, okay. Before tackling one of them, you be sure to coat your blade in Draconid oil. So it's saying use Igni to knock them out the sky, but they're not vulnerable to... Fire? What's the point? Crossbow bolt them or hit them with heart? Oh, Crawled through here. Clearly too tired to fly. Well, it's half dead, Carol. I'm hoping it's not, though, and it puts up a fierce fight. Are you down here? Was in a bad way, barely crawling. I wonder if it regens, though. Mm, second Draconid landed here, a larger one. Waited for the smaller one to heal, then they flew off together. Should be easy to track. Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. Slizzard's Matrix? Oh, it's two of them! Let's read the journal for the Matrix, huh? Slizzard Matriarchs, wow. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. It's the same. Grape Shot, Draconid, Ard, Quen. If you ever find yourself facing a monster that breathes fire, strikes with a tail tipped with venomous spines, Bites with sharp teeth and swipes with even sharper claws. 
and tends to knock its prey to the ground with a sonic blast, then you are fighting a slizzard. With the arsenal like that, it comes as no surprise. Folks often mistake these draconids for dragons, yet the experts, meaning witchers, know slizzards constitute an entirely separate species. Much smaller than dragons and far less dangerous, with one exception, slizzard females in mating season, or even worse, just after laying their eggs. When fighting such individuals, my suggestion is to get as far as possible from the danger as quickly as possible, preferably by running at full tilt without looking back. Wow, so run the fuck away, don't fight them. This is gonna be... We, this is gonna be awesome. I can't believe we're fighting a slizzard. That's so cool. Together. Probably bound for their nest. That's really awesome. Let's look at the map though. Hold on. Because where are we at here? Quarry was done. Oh. Shit. It's going to be over here. Grandmaster Griffin gear? Friends, we're about to get the Griffin gear. Knife for hire there. Let's do it. Griffin gear. We're gonna wear our fat boy here again. You think the Griffin, the Grandmaster Griffin, has the the pooch, the beer belly? Trail ends here. Nests up there. I bet the farm on it. You bet the farm on it? You talking about Corvo? We ain't losing Corvo. Hold on. There's a nook here. You know it's a chest. Definitely not. Geralt's gonna bet the farm on it. And we're about to fight a slizzard. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so happy for this because, well... He talked about slizzard. When's the last time we talked about a slizzard? The first game? Second game? The beginning of the second game? What's up, Sliz? Fort? you. Wow, they're white looking. That's so badass. Come on. You want to fight me? Come on, I want to see you in all your splendor. Breathing fire. I'm going to put my trap down a second. I'm trying to look at the moves, though. Let's get... I think Old Nora will even matter. Probably not. Oh, we're wrecking her. Hold on. Let's put something else on. Uh, there's anything. Necrophage oil. We're just destroying her. I don't want to kill her that quick. What, Carol? Nice! Come on! Let's get it on! Get our trap down. Brendan! We're at eight. Nine! You son of a bitch! Right. High time I collected a trophy. Rest of the eggs haven't hatched yet. Need to burn the whole nest. Geralt is so strong that his attack is, is just chunking their health. We're at ten, look. Oh, that's heartbreaking, isn't it? Oh, it burns my... It chaps me up. Dahlia? What a cool fight. I love the song, too. I wanted to just prolong it, just hear the song, and just see all their moves. Did you see the Draconid oil? Wow, we are so powerful. We are ungodly powerful, friends. Seriously, though? We're gonna... I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you. Is that this sword is so fucking powerful now. I'm not really broken up that we did not... 
destroy the eggs? That's so sad. What? I'm really not broken up that we did not level it because we are so strong. I do want to level it and I will keep continuing to level it because it's fun as fuck to level it. But we are so powerful. The thing is... No, because we have enemy upscaling on. They upscale to us anyway, regardless if the contract is lower. Bye bye. That'll do it. Monster eggs. Well, the bovine contract is done. We have a place of power here. Nor must be that oh. ruined Fort Lafog mentioned. Worth a look. Oh, Griffin gear. Let's mark that. We can always do. Blue armor die. Oh, we're getting it. We are indeed getting it. La Fork. You see that? What is that? Oh, you don't know me. Don't worry about me. There it is. Captain Augustus Fairbrass report. The Grandmaster Boots, Gauntlet, Steel Sword, and a report. Wow. The Witcher I summon Reese Asar on the 12th of September. He made a favorable impression. I had expected a cold killer. Wait. Is this a thing here? Is this, is this a typo? Because I thought the Witcher months were different, not exactly like our real life months. Have we ever seen a month be dropped in the game besides... I just feel like they were just named different. They may very well be not, but I'm pretty sure they are. I had expected a cold killer yet found myself speaking with someone who could easily be mistaken for a normal man. If not for his expansive knowledge concerning the habits of monsters, the two swords on his back and the griffin head medallion on his chest, Jerome, as he was called, asked me a great many questions about the beast seen near Mount Crane Castle. Based on my responses, he concluded the monster in question was a lesion. Oh, you mother effer, you got a lesion on? During our next conversation, the wizard expressed his astonishment at being offered such a high reward and one paid in advance. Before he even arrived in Tucson, I had taken a liking to the fellow and wanted to be honest with him. Despite the vow I had sworn, I revealed his pay came entirely from a certain Moreau. A mage... Moreau? Oh, that was the one with, uh... That was Yennefer's quest. A mage who had decided to use this gift to thank our community for a warm welcome. When Jerome heard the mage's name, he first went pale, then flew into a rage. He shouted, and I quote, Going to give that old bastard a piece of my mind, then he ran to the stables, mounted his steed, and rode off, leaving the greater part of his possessions behind. He was seen on the road to Mount Crane, but then disappeared, like a rock thrown in deep water. Master Moreau claims he never saw the Witcher. Wow, Moreau killed him. Wonder what happened at Mount Crane. Mount Crane? Mount Crane? Totally fucking wrong, obviously. Well, we got some Grandmaster stuff on. I'm so happy about that. I'm really happy that they did include Witcher gear again. The end of the episode, we're going to discuss some things. I want to look at the map, though, before we... Is anything on the blood? No. No. Items. Upgrades. No quest upgrades or whatever the hell it is. Quest updates. Anything to investigate? We should go down into this cave here. Find it. It's gotta be this other route. Because this was probably the route we should have taken. Taken? Taken? But now it's telling us to go up. What the hell is this one at? But now it's telling us to go down. Geralt? Um, this is an interesting one. 
Did I fucking walk right past it? Huh. What the fuck is this cave? You can't get in there. Well, there's a place of power somewhere in here, but there's... Man, am I oblivious to it? Oh, that was pretty close, Geralt. Is it... there? By this little tree? There it is! Oh, that's so cool. humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. It's most definitely. Easy peasy. Nothing else in here? Let's head back to the quest giver now. I'm not gonna do more of this. Head back over here, turn it in to the quarry, and then... What is this? On the way over, check that out. But let's head over... Wait, was that a question mark? Did you see that? We exited out of a question mark came here. Mm, no, maybe it didn't. Don't die, Geralt. You got this, ah. sir. Chances are we probably already hit that up. Whatever this little thing is on the map here. On the way over here. I'm pretty sure we probably did, but let's be thorough. There you go, Roach. Nothing for you. Well, that Slizzard fight was really awesome. Did you see him with the fire? That fire was pretty much going through our Quen and still burning us. Oh, yeah, this is the, um... Okay. Easy peasy. Wow, introduction of more monsters. This DLC has it all, huh? It's got all the vamps so far. New monsters, centipedes, archospores. It's lizards, finally. The only thing I can think of that would just make this the best of all would be a manticore. I would love to fucking fight a manticore. Oh my word, that would be a dream. That is considered the most dangerous monster in the world, isn't it? Manticores? Oh my word, how awesome would it be to fight a manticore? We have to. There has to be one. Come on. Where the hell is this guy at? Roach, I got stuck in here. Is he over here? There you are. How about my money? Buddy. Luke. Well, have you learned how that cow came to fly? Slizzard. Yeah, you can get back to work. And it wasn't a plague of falling cows. Did I not say so from the start? A weight off my chest. So what was behind the animal's plummet? Young Slizzard flying over the quarry dropped it. Was trying to get it back to its nest. Food for its mother and siblings. Probably heard the last of the beasts. Burned the nest, eggs, everything. A praiseworthy precaution, but as I said, I can only pay you what we agreed. I simply haven't any more. Here, take this. And I thank you, Master. Well, happy work to you then. All cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just the dragon, but it's gone too. We're to pay Emil's widow compensation, and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, man? Back to work, chop chop! And I've a notion suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign of them at Ardesto. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. Or eaten, or, or locusts got them, like in Zerikania. What's this rubbish you spout now? The architects wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. So stop flapping your yaps and get to work! Allow me to walk you away, Master. 
more work to be had here? Truth be told, I lied. But I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. Come see me later, I shall divulge to you the details. Come see you later? Is that another? Talk to the foreman of Ardiaso Quarry. Well, that's our next path then. We can talk to him again. Big feet to fill. What is that? All signs seem to suggest the statue and those working on it suffered from a hefty dose of rotten luck. With the help the Witcher had provided, the quarry was now operating normally, yet fresh trouble appeared almost at once. Let's knock out a codex because that's definitely another path for next episode. We're good on inventory. Yes, yes. Hold on. Yeah, knock out another codex here. What is this one? Plummeton. Oh, that's the cow. On hunting Basilis, a compendium. In our lands, that is to say, in the fair duchy of Toussaint, the hunting of Basilis has a long and storied tradition. One reaching back to the dawn of our present history. Attesting to this is a note written by one Xenon of Triton, a leather worker in the year 1023. In it, one finds mention of a commission for a corset to be fashioned from a hide of that winged serpent called Basilcus by some. See Vedetto Fiari manuscript through the ages 1278. While lesser hides could come from beasts felled by age or hunger, the costliness and expense of this corset would have necessitated the skin of a basilisk taking in its prime, and therefore require a hunt. Without engagement of a witcher, or as a last resort, a knight or a mercenary, such a hunt would have perforce meant the gruesome death of the full hardy hunter. Yet those adept at the task, witcher chief among them, hunted basilisks and their cousins cockatrices with great success then in their numbers till a mere handful remained. To give but one example in the year 1100 basilisks of the Regulus Platinum subspecies dotted skies all across our land, yet in the present day only one exemplar still lives. Well that's enough for now, just one codex, we did do quite a lot here. We have a few more, how many more do we have left, five? We have five more codexes left, easy, easy. And we will get to them as we keep going. But what I want to say a little bit ago, now that we have this other contract here, we have to do it next episode. We can't just leave it. What I wanted to say and look for on the map is where do we find... Oh, the Ursine gear is right here. Literally. Where is... There's Grandmaster Wolven. Hop, skip, and a jump away from us. Knife for hire. I'm looking for the Manticore armor. Manticore right there. Hmm, that's fucking across the map, though. Damn it. This... I wonder if this quest is going to go away. If we don't do it. Because it seemed pretty dire, like people are missing. And if we walk away from it and don't do it now, something could happen. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do, because, look, honestly, the more we keep doing quests, and this is, this was my, the way I was thinking, envisioning this, and it did not happen the way I was envisioning. I was envisioning doing this stuff, Going up here, then starting this wine war stuff. Once we do this wine wars and this wine wars and all this stuff in this area, we go to get the manticore armor and then put it on. But now, that's a lot of quests and we're just about halfway done with all this shit in the... I guess we're not halfway done. What we can do 
is this quest here, next episode, see where this leads us. If it leads us in the area, we'll knock out stuff on the way. It could just be nothing. It could lead us to this area here or just another area. Whoa, what happened there? Anyways, what I'm getting at is eventually after this quest, I won't start another quest. I won't do any more explanation stuff. I'm going to jump over to the tourney grounds here and I'm going to walk our happy ass over and get the manticore armor. The manticore armor, depending on how long this quest is, will either be next episode or the one following it because you never know just once you get into something you keep on going and you just get sidetracked with the stuff that this game throws at you they throw so much awesome things at you and you get so into it and you don't realize that whoa, whoa there goes two hours of your time after this quest we're getting the manticore we're going to make it we're going to put it on and then I want to start knocking out more quests because what's really getting me is that these cutscenes and stuff, we are seeing these cutscenes and we are seeing Geralt and we are just still seeing him in the same armor that we started this DLC with and the other DLC. I want to see him in something new. I love Wolf. It's my favorite armor in the game and I would be happy if they never if they never had more Witcher gear in this DLC and that, that'd be totally fine with me because I would still just keep this armor. I would probably change the dyes up here and there just to give a you know a fresh look of it but they are introducing this manticore armor and i really want to see what it looks like and drink. i feel like give me a drink we are just getting closer and closer we're not nowhere near the end but we're getting closer i want to get some more time with the manticore so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna knock this quest out next episode since we are right here and then we are going to neglect all other quests go get the manticore if it senses somewhere else, which it probably will, it doesn't matter. We're going to that next spot. I'm going to try to skirt around because I did it in the Heart of Stone DLC. There was stuff in the Heart of Stone DLC. There was like things on the map here. I don't know. Little things to explore. But there was a point where I needed to get to this one thing for something. Might have been gear or a diagram or something. And I didn't want to explore the other stuff because I was thinking that it may a quest may have led us there and we skirted around and we made it perfectly fine we didn't trigger anything else so that's the plan manticore gear is getting on very shortly because it's time to see more epic witcher gear anyways my friends i'm out of here take it easy have a good one stay safe see you next time take care <laughs>